Hello everyone, this is Nathan and I'm back. Hope everybody's doing well. Today I wanted to talk about growing chestnuts, specifically Chinese chestnuts from seed. I had these seeds in a old compost tumbler, letting them overwinter and uh, get the cold that they needed to begin sprouting. And it's currently January 25th and they've sprouted early. So, I've got to plant them where they will be until I plant them out into the nursery. So you can see they're just starting to, here's a good one, just starting to break through the shell and starting to send out their roots. So, I originally had these stored in five gallon buckets or in this case a cat litter container filled with leaves and mulch and uh, worm compost and currently in here I've got some pecans that are currently going undergoing the same process but they haven't woke up yet you have to excuse the chickens they like to talk so I've got pecans, black walnut, which hasn't woke up yet, and then some apples, cherries, and peaches in a small coffee can. And in this old compost tumbler, I have some black walnuts that have not quite woken up. I have around 500 that I collected in the fall. Shelled them, didn't worry about cleaning them off too much and then just put them into this large composter with leaves, worm compost, um, a couple of kitchen scraps, and some red wiggler worms, and then just let them overwinter. So my initial thoughts with these was to simply put them into a large, uh, about five gallon pot like this, and just let them finish uh, sending out their roots and growing in here until I transplanted them probably in the fall. But I remembered uh, watching a video by Edible Acres on YouTube and he stated that if you put them in pots like this, they have a bad problem of growing deep roots and then coiling in the bottom of the pot, which makes it difficult to transplant them and it makes it harder on them to get established in their next location. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take this small pot right here. I'm going to cut the bottom out of it and kind of do a simple um, air prune bed. And I'm going to just take this pot, fill it with soil, put the chestnuts in it, and then set it on top of this grate, which is setting over some white oak seeds that are currently overwintering right here and then I'll put another one of these metal grates on top of this so that rodents don't get into the seeds over winter and eat them so let me get started on that and I'll show you the process okay so I've got the bottom of the pot cut out you can see how there's nothing but air underneath of it and this way when the chestnut roots do grow they'll grow down and hit this barrier of air and they'll stop trying to grow and it also keep them from coiling up and being hard to transplant so i'm going to fill this with soil and then i'll show you how i plant them chestnuts in the soil okay i've got the pot filled and i had to put a half inch by half inch mesh underneath to keep the soil from falling through and now we're going to start planting these so to plant them all you got to do is just barely move the soil back be gentle with the root and kind of plant them like they would naturally fall and then just barely cover them up you kind of almost want to be able to see them when you get done planting them so i'll do another one before i do the entire pot and i'm going to plant these fairly close and they, sh they should do perfectly fine being very close together. 
um, as long as they're watered and in full sun, they'll do very well. So let me finish planting these and I'll be right back. Okay, all 26 to 27 of them have been planted and you can see that they're just barely covered with soil. And now just to simulate the forest floor where they would normally be coming up, just put on a thick layer of leaves. And they're all set. I'll go get a piece of metal to cover the top up and then I'll show you the final product. Okay, here we are. They're settled in for winter, ready to keep growing their roots and preparing to send up shoots in the spring. Um, and the beauty of this is, is that this is all scrap material that is easily accessed at scrap yards or Maybe your neighbors are throwing trash away. So you can take that material and repurpose it into growing trees and protecting young saplings just using scrap materials. So if you enjoyed this type of content, I greatly appreciate it. Please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. Um, thank you and I hope you have a wonderful day.